Well, welcome back to the 9 o'clock hour of the morning show. You are joining us in the Winn-Dixie kitchen, and today's guests are from the Prohibition kitchen. Welcome, guys. We have Josh and Shane, and the Prohibition kitchen is the newest, hottest restaurant in St. Augustine. Am I correct? Yes, it is. Tell me a little bit about it when you open your doors and what is so exciting about it. Uh, we opened our doors last Tuesday for the first time and um, we have a great management team. We're super excited. We would love everyone to come and check it out. And um, we're extremely excited about all the food. We have the two most talented chefs I could ever hope for. Chef Day is one of them. This guy is extremely talented and we are very fortunate to have him. So today I think we're going to be talking a little bit about our uh, salmon entree and then I'm going to be making a banana Foster's milkshake. So. Ooh, I can tell you it looks and smells good. Before we get to cooking and talking more about the food, tell me a little bit about what sets the food, the drinks, all of that apart at Prohibition from maybe some of the other tons of places in St. Augustine. That's a good question. I think uh, what we're doing is pretty uh, just like, you know, really nice straightforward foods. We really uh, got a lot of inspiration from uh, the, the Prohibition era as well as, you know, um, kind of, expanding all the way into like you know the rum running area uh the whiskey distillery uh so we have like that kind of tennessee as well as that uh kind of uh, caribbean influence um so it kind of ties everything together but it's kind of set in this prohibition time so it's given us a lot of like heirloom recipes and local vendors and purveyors that we've kind of help us bring this whole idea to life you know? sounds amazing i love the concept and let's dig into what I can't keep my eyes off of right now. I see the salmon right. and then we've got the dessert. So guys, tell me what you've got here and uh, what goes into it. it. This is our, one of our uh, entree dishes. Uh, you can kind of see it starting to smoke up now. It's a really nice, this is called a cedar plank salmon. Um, sometimes we get in flounder or other, um, you know, uh, local fish, but right now we're running this wonderful salmon. Uh, all we do is we take it, we portion it, we do a really quick little salt sugar cure on it to kind of draw out some of the moisture and um, intensify the flavor. Um, the cedar planks are first, they're soaked in apple cider, they're also soaked in uh, like a stout style beer, and as well as a little bit of red wine and water. Um, that'll kind of, once they start to smoke, it'll really just tie in a lot of awesome aroma, and, and we'll start to smell it here in a little bit. Um, once that's cooked and starts to char up, um, it's finished in the oven, and then when it goes out to the guests, it's just such a aesthetically pleasing dish, because you have, you know, the smoke coming up, and you also have a lot of char around the, around the uh, perimeter of it, and it's just, uh, it's pretty cool, so. Um, and that's finished with this uh, brown butter, uh, sugar, and uh, spice glaze. Do you um, have some of it in there? I we do, can yes, put on there, or yeah. is it time yet? I can do it. I can pull it. We have one that we've are finishing in the oven right now. Um, okay. I could be like me to pull that out, or sure, if yeah. you want to pull that out, and you can tell me a little bit about this delicious banana Foster dessert. So it's a Maddie Rum banana Fosters. The so traditional uh, banana Fosters calls for you melt the butter, put a little brown sugar, touch of cinnamon. And then most recipes call for vanilla extract, but with this rum, you don't need the vanilla extract because it's a high proof rum, which can catch on fire to do the flambe. And then you can also uh, put in, it's got the vanilla beans from Madagascar infused into the rum. So oh, I can smell the banana cooking here yeah. and it smells delicious. Okay, and so we have the final salmon that was brought over here. Yep. And it's ready to be poured with what is this again? This is uh, just basically a, a little bit of uh, vinegar and sugar, apple cider vinegar and sugar that's reduced mm. down. Uh, a little bit of uh, pink pepper, corn, and coriander. Kind of give it a nice little uh, kind of earthy background flavor. And this is a pretty healthy dish as well. I would say so, yeah. I mean, give, give or take a little bit of butter and sugar. <laughs> okay, so. a little bit of butter and sugar. Minus yeah. that, it's healthy. <laughs> yeah, same. Okay, so before we run out of time, tell people where you're located so they can find you and how they can learn more information. Awesome. We're located right downtown St. Augustine, Florida, right on St. George Street, which is the high traffic volume area. And um, come and check us out. It's uh, 119 St. George Street. So. Thank you so much, Prohibition Kitchen, St. Augustine. Thanks for being with us. And it is time for me to dig into the salmon and this banana's foster. It looks delicious. Don't